In this video, you'll learn how to build your own website to show off your portfolio and build your personal brand. Hi, I'm Yasmin from Wondershare, and this is the Everyday Creative Series. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. As a freelancer, it can be hard to get your name out there. I have my projects, resumes, and other things that I want to showcase all in one spot. So I'm going to build a website using Wondershare Market to help me stand out. Let's get started. First things first, let's go to Mocket's website to browse some templates. There are a ton of templates and design resources here that Mocket community members have created for other people to use. Today I'm going to use the product web page template. This template was built with a product in mind, but the way the sections are divided up will also look good for my portfolio. This top section has places for my name and job title. I can also add a photo of myself here. To use this template, let's click Use Template and add it to the Personal Projects folder. Awesome, now let's click on Workspace and get to it. I'll go to the folder I just saved the template in and open that up. The very first thing I wanna change is this photo. Let's just click on the first one and delete it. For the second one, I'm actually gonna replace it with my own image. See how if I select it, all the information is listed on the right? If I hover over the thumbnail of the image, it'll give me the option to upload something else. I already have a picture of myself with a transparent background ready to use, but if you don't, Wondershare PixCut is a background removal tool you can try for free. Now that I've got my picture, I'll just adjust the size until it looks good. This background doesn't go great with my photo. Let's swap it for something else. Now let's get to the text. It's a bit hard to read, so let's change the color. I want to change his title to my name and add some basic info about me. Looking good. I might want to have different buttons here that lead to my resume and portfolio, but I'll delete these two because I don't really need them. At the side here, I'll click on the button and drag two of those over into my workspace. We can delete the ones that came with the template. Now I can change the text to say resume and portfolio and change the colors of the button and text over here in the right menu. This looks cool for the home page. Now for the other pages, I'll just follow the same process and add my resume and portfolio. Let me know in the comments if you tried Mock It and what you thought of it. I'll leave a link in the description so you can try it for free. Don't forget to check out our last video and let me know if you have any new creative challenges you'd like me to try. I'll see you later, stay creative.